In the previous videos about quadratics, we talked about quadratic expressions. In the next few videos, we will be talking about quadratic equations. So, the difference between an expression and an equation is that an equation has an equal sign, while an expression does not. So, for example, x squared plus 5x plus 4 is a quadratic expression. But if we add, let's say, equals 0 to this, we get a quadratic equation. Other examples of quadratic equations are x squared plus 6x plus 10 equals 2. We can see that on the left hand side we have a quadratic expression, while on the right hand side we have the number 2. Another example is x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equals to negative 3x plus 1. So similarly here, on the left hand side we have a quadratic expression, while on the right hand side we have negative 3x plus 1, which is also known as a linear expression. Solving a quadratic equation is finding the value of x. So this is similar when we solve, let's say, x plus 3 equals 5. And we can see that x is equals to 2. However, when we solve quadratic equations, we want to write the equation as a quadratic expression equal to zero. So going back to examples, the first example is already in the form we want. However, the second and third example are not, but we can easily change this. Our second example was x squared plus 6x plus 10 equals 2. And to make one of the side equal to zero, we can take away two from both sides. So we'll get x squared plus 6x plus 10 minus 2, which is plus 8, equals to 2 minus 2, which is 0. Similarly, for the third example, we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals negative 3x plus 1. So let's make the right hand side equal to 0. We can do this by adding 3x to both sides. So we get x squared plus 2x plus 3x, which is 5x plus 5 is equal to negative 3x plus 3x, which is 0 plus 1. So we have to minus 1 from both sides. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 minus 1, which is 4, which is equals to 0, since 1 minus 1 is 0. So these equations, so our second example and our third example, are now in the form that we want. There are many different ways of solving quadratics, but we will focus on these four methods, two of which are based on the skills from previous videos. The first method involves factorizing the quadratic expression. The second method is completing the square of the quadratic expression. The third method is using the quadratic formula, and the fourth method is a quick way of just sketching the graph and finding the solutions. These four methods will be covered in the next few videos.